Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to copy using the fill right and fill down feature. Very, very useful thing. When you're looking at a spreadsheet and you have a cell there, you always notice a little extra fat corner on your uh, cell there. I'm going to zoom in on that. There you see. Now I'm selecting that box there, and here you go. If I drag the mouse over the little fat corner to the lower right of a cell, then I can fill that out. As you see now, it's copying the same information all over to the right there. And I'm going to do the same thing there. Not that useful with just copying all of that information, but this one is really useful because in this case I'm doing a summary, the uh, revenues minus the costs, and just doing that calculation. Of course, that's the same for every month. And then you'll see that I can just fill this out beautifully. And now, of course, it's doing the relative counting, counting the cell, two cells above minus the cell just above it. Same thing goes for filling down. You can do that too. And the same thing applies. You summarize all of these things to the left. Sum B11 to F11, the same row. Sum B12 um, on the 12 row. And B13. So filling down works perfectly. Can I actually also do this with the keyboard? So if I undo this again, that one and that one, let's remove this one. And just select the first one and then I hold down the shift key to select the whole rest of the range there and then I hold down the control key on my keyboard and press the R key for fill right and there you can see I get all the numbers there same thing with this I want to fill it down so I shift down to select and then control D for fill down very very useful Another useful thing in terms of fill are the series. So now I have my Swedish number formats here. So if I put in the name for the Swedish in January and then start filling that down with the same thing. No, sorry. If I actually managed to spell January right in Swedish, like that, January, and then fill it down, you'll notice that it actually starts filling the rest of the months too. Uh, same thing with the weekdays, if I fill in the Swedish name for Monday, uh, like that, and I fill that down, I'll get it to Sunday in Swedish. That's because of my regional settings. Another option is to make your own series, and you can do that in the options of Excel. You know, define your own series, that's fine. But you can also do it like this, say that you have um, like apartment one, and then you start filling that. And Excel figures that you're probably building a series here, so you, you'll get that filled also. Let's see, I'm just going to make sure that we can see that properly. There we go. If I do a um, non-linear series, like Project 1, and then the next one should be Project 3. And of course, then yeah, Project 3, the next one should be 5 so on. If I now select this series there, Excel will figure out how the series works. They're only odd numbers. So that works too. So those are a couple of examples of using the fill right and the fill down feature in Excel. Thank you for watching this demonstration.